today's mouse optimization guide guys I'm going to show you all the major steps to make sure that you have the lowest amounts of input delay on your mouse actually while playing games such as Fortnite here in chapter 3 season 2 and I'm going to show you all the secrets which pro players use guys just to make sure that they have the lowest amount of latency while actually competing here in Fortnite or other competitive games and if you guys enjoyed this video please don't forget to leave a like and vote any for news let's get straight into this topic. So yeah guys, and for the first step, we're now going to check how to actually set all of the mice which we have right now here in front of me to maximum pulling rate, guys. And if you guys don't know what is like a pulling rate, I'm just gonna explain it real quick. As we are here right now in my Logitech software, we can see here that we have our report rate, which is also called pulling rate, and it's set to 1000, which is the maximum on the GPro Superlight. And what this pretty much means is that your mouse sensor is gonna update its position each and every single second 1000 times. If you get a put it to 500, you're of course at a little bit more impact delay because yeah it's on like half the times getting updated and especially while trying to aim you know in competitive games and everything having the highest pulling rate possible is super important because it's just gonna make your aim overall super smooth and yeah give you the competitive advantage because you're gonna have better aim guys and on some mice like the Endgame XM1 you actually gotta have like a, one of these like DPI um, pulling rate buttons on the back side itself here as you can see if I hold it for a longer time now I'm on 250 hertz. If I hold it now again, I'm on 500 hertz. And if I hold it one more time here, uh, I'm actually now on 1000 hertz, guys. And on the GPro Superlight itself, you actually have to do it in the software. So therefore, it always like depends. You know, on some mice, it's actually like on the bottom side where you can do like all the changes, guys. And on some mice, like here, the GPro Superlight, which is an esports mouse, therefore they actually didn't include this button here on the back side to reduce weight. You know to it's like bare minimum, you actually gotta do it in the software itself. And it's super easy as you can see here on the um, bottom left side, just simply put it to 1000 Hertz and you're already done guys. And as mentioned, just to make sure also like afterwards that you're actually running like the highest Hertz possible, I would recommend you to click on the link in the description which is called Click Speed Tester. And once we're actually on here and we're just gonna move our mouse around guys, you can see that I'm pretty much on a thousand Hertz, you know, like 960, 970. Um, can we actually get like straight up a thousand? Yeah, there we had a thousand hertz guys. So therefore, yeah, we're pretty much running here a thousand hertz with the GPro Superlight. We're gonna do the same test here as well, actually real quick with our Endgame XM1. Gonna move it around guys, you know, just like a little bit. And you can see here, perfect 1000 hertz most of the time. Actually even works better than on the Superlight itself. But yeah, they can see it guys, super easy. And as mentioned, this is really important, especially for competitive gaming. You gotta really make sure that your mice are set to the highest um, polling rate possible for the lowest amount of input delay and the lowest latency. And I hope this helped you out. And now let's continue with the next step. And yeah guys, in this next step now, we're just gonna go into a Windows search bar and just simply type in device until we find device manager guys and open it up in the first place. And once we're in here now, we have tons of categories. And what are we actually now going to search for is human interface devices and open it up and scroll down a little bit and somewhere in here it should now showcase your mouse which you're using for me it showcases here right now logitech gr virtual mouse and this is exactly the one process which is linked to my g pro super light and if you're using a razor mouse it should say something like razor virtual i don't know like i don't know the definition of like um razor mice right now or any other mouse as long as it has a software it should appear in here guys so if you're using like endgame xm1 it should be in there you know if you're using like the proper a driver if you're using a logitech mouse it should be called logitech g hub and what we're now going to do is actually right click onto it go into properties and go into power management and they can see now allow the computer to turn off this device to save power which we're gonna uncheck actually just in order to make sure that we have the least amount of input delay guys so therefore click onto ok now and you can of course also do this with your keyboard if you have installed a proper driver. Here right now on this Echo keyboard, I actually haven't installed the driver, so therefore it doesn't showcase in here. Uh, in my previous guide, it actually showcased my Apex Pro Tankulus in here. And yeah, if you have like any driver like linked to your actual like um, devices which you are using, you know, let's just say that you're using a GK61, you have like the driver installed guys, it should be showcased in here and you can do the same thing, properties, power management and just turn it off guys. Super, super easy and do it for each and every single device which has a valid driver on your PC and you should be good to go. And yeah guys, real quick, I just wanna say that I'm soon going to announce my 50,000 subscribers giveaway over on my Twitter guys. So therefore, please make sure to follow me on Twitter guys. If you 
want to stay up to date with everything i'm super active there i'm actually also like following like tons of you guys back and yeah also make sure to actually join the discord guys which is also going to be in the description so therefore yeah if you need like any help with like all of these optimization steps just simply join there and you can just ask my mods or maybe even like sometimes i'm online there you know so therefore yeah it's the easiest way and now let's continue with the video and yeah guys what i want you to do now is click on the first link in the description where you can find my actual website guys and here on the top left side guys is going to be the pack which we're going to be utilizing in today's video you can get it straight up here from my website you might maybe get like a small ad and afterwards you get redirected here to the actual site itself where we're going to click now on this download button which is going to redirect you to google drive guys anything else which is going to get downloaded like a browser extension or stuff like that is just like part of the ad so therefore yeah just make sure to close it and then afterwards you should be redirected here to google drive from where you can download it it's going to have exactly the same name and the same thumbnail as the video you're watching right now and it's going to be called the late tweak pack and yeah, after you pretty much like extract it here onto your PC, just simply open it up. And in there we have a mouse and keyboard latency. And we're gonna open it up. And we have like some small tweaks in here guys, which are just gonna make sure that your mouse and keyboard actually run on the lowest amount of input delay possible. And once we're in here guys, you just simply gonna double click onto keyboard tweak here, um, press yes. And then you can see the keys and values contained in and then like the following tweak where it got changed pretty much like in your registry have been successfully added to the registry. Now we're gonna click okay actually go back here go into mouse guys and there we can see now mouse tweak and we're gonna do exactly the same thing just press yes and you can see now here the keys and values contained in and then the following tweak have been successfully added we're gonna press ok and we're pretty much done here you can already just like delete this package here because you don't need it afterwards anymore and with that said we're already done here with this step and yeah guys now i want to give you like a small extra tip just to make sure that you have the least amount of input delay actually on your devices and as probably like everyone knows utilizing usb 3.0 over 2.0 is going to actually give you less input delay you know because there's like a bigger data transfer and it's way faster but what many people actually don't know is that you can also utilize usb type c on your motherboard if your pc does support that i would just say like over the last like two to three years it become like kind of standard to have like usb type c um, on your motherboard many laptops even have it so therefore actually using adapter as shown right now here in the background guys is so beneficial if you want to have like this small competitive advantage like i use my keyboard over it and my mouse actually over usb type c connector you know one on the front panel and one on the back side and i actually have like my dongle with my wireless usb connector for my gpro super light in my first usb type c slot and then also my apex pro which is my main keyboard as well on the back side of my pc using usb type c and it's just so much faster in comparison guys so therefore if you have this possibility, definitely utilize this because yeah, it's gonna make like a huge difference just to make sure that you have like the fastest connection possible. And yeah guys, with that said, this is it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. This would help me so, so much. And if you still have any more questions for free, ask me them down in the comment section below. I try to answer as many as possible. And with that said, have a great day, have a great night whenever you're watching this. And until next time, stay awesome. I'm out. Peace. That shit too light. Dame Gucci Link, come take a dive. Kill that shit, but just don't kill the vibe. Yeah.